Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Nova Iron Galaxy. Today we are going to talk about the different ship classes and ships we have available in the game and which ship is better. Is an SSR destroyer better than an epic cruiser? Yes or no? Um, what about the frigates? Should you invest in frigates? And um, we are going to look into it and try to answer the most important questions here. Let's start with what is available. Um, easiest way we go into our ship center, we can see the different ship classes that are available. We have frigates, then we have destroyers, next thing is cruisers, after the cruisers we do have the battleships and last we do have dreadnought. So there are five classes of ships available. Um, in the black market we can also take a look what ships are available. So having a quick look here at the frigates, we see there are two legendary SSR frigates avail available, the Chameleon and the Puck. And we do have three epic ones. Um, I can already tell you I would not invest into anything that is not at least epic. So all the blue stuff you should ignore it. Um, you will not use it later in game and if you don't use it later in game it does not make much sense to level it up. Now if you want to you can do this because um, you can reset gear and equipment. So let's go to the dash components. It doesn't matter if it's a hull or not. Important is it's not allowed to be equipped. So if I click on any of these equipped things, click on edit, I cannot reset it. But if I go <laughs> far, far down um, or use a filter that's probably quicker, so not installed. Um, if I would upgrade something, I do have the option to reset the current level. It costs me 100 GEC. Now, um, that's the reason why I would recommend you only upgrade things that are at least epic and ignore blue stuff like here I have that Griffin. Okay, now the most important question, which ships should you invest in? And um, I can give a very quick answer. Everything that is SSR you should invest in because even later in game, these are still amazing ships and I can show you why I can say this. Now, if we take a look at my ship list, let's take a look at the frigates I have. I do have both the Chameleon and the Puck and I do not have them only one time, I got them multiple times. So what I did is I enhanced them. So my Chameleon is plus 25% HP, plus 25% attack and plus 60% shield, which is really a lot. If I would get more, I can even increase um, the evade, the armor, and then finally an additional 45% damage, which is huge. Now, taking a look at the power, I have 8,800 power with that chameleon, and my pack is very, very close to that. Also, it is enhanced. Um, we do also have the first one with HP, then this one gives us 25% attack, additional accuracy, additional armor and next would be more accuracy to get lastly a 33% reduced damage on the hull, also a big thing. Now why do I use them? Um, you will run multiple fleets later and they are great to fill up remaining um, comment points that you have there. Now let's take a look in my other classes. So as you see here, the lower ones, they are much, much lower in power. The reason for this is first, both of the frigates here, they are both level 20. Now taking a look here, um, the Lyrus is nothing. The Sea Toka is also level 25, so we also get it up to 7600 um, power. It is fully enhanced. Um, I used all the other um, Sea Toka frigates to really max it out. So even with a purple frigate, I get very close to what I do have with my SSR frigates here. 
Now I can tell you I could push them even higher to around 10, 12,000 power, but then it's getting more difficult. Um, I will not get much higher than that. So if I take a look at my destroyers, it's getting really crazy. The numbers are going up. Yes, the Kaelium is around the same power as the frigates. Um, this depends also on the equipment. That's important to note. It, it depends on the equipment you have. So you see here, like this engine, it's not even leveled up. Um, the weapons, they are not all leveled up. The problem there is I'm just running out of um, the resources that I can use to enhance my components. You see, I don't have any fluid layers anymore. Um, else I would get the power also above 10k. I can tell you that much easily. But um, I wouldn't get as high as 20k here. So you can see the Argo, it is... The ship that I pushed most, I really like the Argo. It's a great ship. And um, it only needs 60 um, command points to put it into um, any army. So um, that is really great. You can see here it is already two times enhanced. Um, that also helps to increase the power of the ships. Now when we go to the next category, the cruisers, I'm also at 21k. Now, the same problem here. Let's take a look at the Argo. First, it's level 42. My um, cruiser, the Musca Borealis, is only level 30. That makes already a big difference. And then when we take a look at the gear, um, level 10 engine, um, most of the weapons here, level 10, two SSR weapons. Now, at the armor, I'm getting into the problem again that I do not have enough um, resources to level these up. Same thing for the components. And for my cruiser, uh, level 13 engine, so that is good. Three legendary ones, also nicely leveled up. And same thing, the armor and the components. Um, it starts to get a problem to really level this up. Now the biggest difference, and that's the reason why they are so close in power, is the level of the ship. Um, if you level the ship up, it will increase the HP, armor and shield, which gives it a lot of power. But as you can see, I need 330 cube fiber here to get this ship to level 43. Now, when we take a look, at the cruiser to upgrade it i need 411 cube fiber and this is from 30 to 31 and this is something you will see with all the equipment not only the hulls all the other components the same thing the bigger they get the more expensive it is to upgrade them and that will make it much more difficult to upgrade L weapons compared to S weapons. So it was much easier to upgrade these S weapons um, than to upgrade the L weapon. You can see it here. Okay, this is also now only an epic one. But if I want to upgrade this 750 fluid layer, if I want to upgrade the legendary um, small weapon, only 113 fluid layer. And that is the reason why I would say the small ships, even if you cannot get as high power as for the bigger ones, will be usable for a very long time because you can just upgrade the equipment much, much easier as it is much cheaper. Now, how does it look when we go higher? You see here my power even drops. I'm only at 11,000 power for the lamb. And so what does that mean um, for bigger ships? Should I use a lamb over um, a Musca Borealis? Now, at the beginning, no, because your Musca Borealis would probably be much higher power as it requires smaller components and is cheaper to level up. But the later in game you get, the more um, ships you will need for your fleet. So let's take a look at my main fleet. I already have a leadership cap here of 560. Now, 
Um, very quickly, I do have three frigates still in my main fleet. Sure, the Puck and the Chameleon, they are powerful. Um, compared to the leaderships they need, they give a lot of power. This is more than times to the power. For the destroyers, I have the Argo because it's amazing, the Antonius and the Calium just because um, they are SSRs and they are still powerful. The Argo is over three times the leadership in power, um, in yeah, 1000 power. So the Antonius and um, the Calium, they are already dropping because I'm now lacking the resources. And then we go into the cruisers where we even put the Posvit inside there. Um, and we have the Lamb here, which is um, added because of the high leadership it requires. I did not put um, the Dreadnought in here. You will find that in my secondary fleet where I have the Dreadnought, as you can see here, with 157 leadership points. Therefore, we have, I honestly, I don't have anything left here. Um, but we still do have two cruisers um, and then we fill it up with whatever is remaining. So answering the question from the beginning, is an SSR ship better than one class higher um, epic ship? I would say definitely yes. Um, it is easier to level up. It is cheaper to level up the components inside there and therefore it will very likely have a much higher power. Anyhow, you want to also get these um, heavier ships because they have a higher potential. So if I would rank up now this Dreadnought, I would bring it up to level 45. Um, similar as my Argo or 42. Then I can already promise you it would have a higher power than the Argo. As you see, I'm only level 6 here. I already have 15,000 power. My Argo only 21. Okay, the Argo is a destroyer. There's, uh, there's a few classes in between. Um, but it is the same concept. So um, even the Lamb. The Lamb here it's a battleship, so if I take a look, the Musca Borealis is my um, SSR cruiser. It comes with 20k power, level 30. Now, the Lamb is only level 15, has half the power, but that is also because of the gear I have there. You can see here, um, not leveled four times. The armor not leveled at all the components not leveled at all now if we take a look at the musca borealis it's a completely different story everything is leveled here even the armor is already leveled not very high but a little bit already helps a lot and um, therefore you have a higher potential for the lamb over the musca borealis but it will take time to get there. So focus on your small SSR ships. Even the frigates are pretty good for a very long time. You see here my frigates, they are still competing with the destroyers easily, even SSR destroyers. And they are killing all the epic destroyers I have. Why? Because they are leveled higher, the equipment I put in there is the highly leveled equipment and that is just working great. And as soon as they drop down, I will put them in my secondary fleet and they can continue working there. So I would say definitely the higher level class has a higher potential, but you will not be able to get to that potential very quickly and therefore the SSR smaller ship very likely will have higher power rating for you for a long time. So I know that was a little bit longer and a lot of talking but I hope it explained to you the different ship classes, what you have to focus on, how you can bring the power up and um, as always, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you on the next video again.